Pokemon, Kaiju, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven's Toy Review. Well, hello there, Collector Steven here, and welcome back to another Hedora review. We're doing a ton of them lately, but honestly, after coming off the heels of the 50th anniversary, let's be honest here, you gotta love the sludgy boy. So, today we're gonna be taking a look at... Okay, so, the Godzilla Store Limited Marusan Hedora Godzilla Sanpo Godzilla Store TV Edition Marusan Hidora at Godzilla Festival 2021. Or in the title, Godzilla Store Limited Marusan Hidora. The Godzilla Store Limited Hidora, okay? Now, Marusan has done and will apparently continue to do a couple of other limited edition Hidoras of this particular sculpt through the Godzilla Store. Now, with that being said, please do not confuse this one for some of the other ones. They've I mean, there's apparently an artist collaboration where it's going to be like black and red, and then they got one with like tinsel in it. This is going to be the cotton candy one. Okay, this is cotton candy. It looks cool. So, with that being said, this one was actually super duper popular when it was solicited. This was initially solicited to be released in December of 2021, and then because it was so popular, they had to do a second order window for January of 22, then February of 22, then March of 22. Yes, so they had four separate delivery windows. Then they had two per person, and some of those orders got knocked down to one per person, meaning sequentially, orders kept getting reduced based on demand. Yeah, not that great, but it shows how popular this one it was and still is, I guess. So if you're looking to hunt this one down, let's help you out and take a look to see whether or not it's going to be worth adding into your collection. Real long explanation, but it absolutely was needed. So for this one here, yes, pink, blue, purple, white, red, bubblegum, or I'm already seeing it, trans rights, cool beans. So, this Hedora is actually really neat because something that I didn't make mention of, it's got glitter in it. It's pretty cool. And honestly, in hand, it looks really, really nice. If you take a look at the promotional pictures of the prototype, uh, we didn't particularly see that much of a major color difference between um, the pink and the purple that was shown. Uh, they did hint at the glitter that was definitely going to be in there. However, they did not really show that there would be blue. Now, admittedly, there are going to be changes from prototype to final product, but in terms of paint scheme, it really does seem like they completely changed everything up. Now, paint will vary from figure to figure, especially in this situation. When we take a look at things like Marusan, Marmot, Gigabrain, so on and so forth, they are basically going to be handmade by one or a very small team of people and you know, paint variants are going to be galore, even if it's going to be from the exact same production run. So I guess that's where it's going to come into play. But honestly, the paint, the, 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 all the paints used and the way that they applied the paint is going to be pretty much different from the prototype, just so this way you're aware. Now, with that being said, the final product, I actually like it a lot more than the prototype. There's a whole lot more going on in terms of how the paint was applied in which areas and the paint scheme chosen. So if you are a fan of really wild and wacky colors, then congratulations. This is definitely going to be one you're going to want to consider because this really pops on the shelf. It's a complete contrast compared to what we know and love for the stinky sludgy boy already in the canon and for what colors Hidora should be. So that's a complete inverse. Now, articulation, because some folks want to see it. Arm swivel, leg swivel, and that's going to be it. The tail does not. I tried. I gorilla gripped it and turned it. Didn't want to move. Now, let's take a look at a size comparison with the Christmas Marusan Hidora set, which I've seen this one listed as the 350 Hidora, and then those other ones as the 350 Hidora sculpt as well. This is going to be the final form of Hidora, and then there's also a final form of Hidora in the Christmas set as well, and they're all referred to as the 350 from what I'm able to see. So I'm a little confused. Um, I don't know which one actually is 350, but more knowledgeably people, please comment in the, the comments. Let me know. But anyway, this is going to be one tall figure build at what is that? 24 centimeters. So buy now, skip, or wait for a deal. So the original asking price is going to be 11,000 yen with 660 yen shipping in Japan. When orders closed, it was about 115 yen to one USD. 
Orders have since closed. They're not shipping these out new anymore. It's all going to be on the aftermarket. And if you're able to get one from Japan at the time of upload, it's going to be approximately 135 yen to one USD. So if you are looking to get this on the aftermarket and you're looking to import, shipping prices aren't the best, but you can compensate that for fantastic exchange rate right now. If you're looking to get it from a US reseller, <clears throat> scalper, <clears throat> um, yeah, well, I don't know what your prices are going to be looking like but that's what it factually did cost. That being said, for someone where I'm not necessarily always in this realm, I just wanted to pick one up because I thought it was pretty neat. I'm pleased. And actually, so is the missus. She likes it as well. Overall, this is a fun release, and it is great to see such a big difference from the normal Hidora. Well, collectors, that brings us to the end of the video today, and I just wanted to take a second to thank you so much for watching. Now, you've heard a lot from me, I'd like to hear a little bit from you. Drop in the comments down below whether or not you liked it, you hated it, or maybe you were somewhere in between. I also want to take an extra second here for a nice, humongous thank you to all the patrons for SDR over the last month who have really helped the channel grow into what it can be today. So to all of you, two big thumbs up, thank you very much. And now the end card should be popping up, which will give you a few clickable links, like maybe to subscribe or head on over to my Patreon, or some short URLs, like to my social media, or to my Teespring store. There's also a video I hand-selected for you, so if you want to watch another STR video, I hand-selected some good content for you to watch, so definitely check out that video. Thank you again so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.